little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Reggie Bush on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. To stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And, and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record. What up, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Fat Dollars, bringing you some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team. We got an updated lineup. Also, I'm going to show you all some tips, man, on how to shut down your opponent. I've been labbing. I play like six games with different playbooks, and I finally fell on the Arizona Cardinals for offense and the Arizona Cardinals for defense. I'm telling you, they got plays for everything that your opponent gonna throw towards you especially spreading out defensive backs that's the reason why I picked up Reggie Bush because he great out the backfield he a good receiving back don't really do too many run behind the guard or off tackle type plays if I do I substitute Carlos Hyde in just to get the short distance but just to keep them on their toes you can see on the defensive side we got new pickups Khalil Mack New pickups, high tower. We got uh, that Josh Norman from the solos, Champ Bailey, and then we got a boosted line. See, we got 87 overall, Jarrell Casey, 86 boosted, and Adama Su, 86 boosted to 87. And we got Poe right there because he helps with the 3 4 chemistry. My guys can get in, make sex. I can drop high tower down in the 2 3 6 coverage, and Khalil Mech down on the end and take the bigger type guys out. But right here, you can see we are blowing this opponent out 45 to 3. And that came from three plays out of the Arizona Cardinals defense. Right here, I'm just showing you how you can have the field spread. And I got this guy playing deep coverage away from the ball because I was able to bring Reggie Bush out of the backfield and make so many big plays. I'm telling you, we got the New England Patriots uniform. Shout out to my subscriber that asked me to do that. I also have Baltimore Ravens in another one, but when you put a jersey on, you are locked into the competition, and I ended up burning AP solos out and uh, my 92 Hopkins solos out. But right here, you can see I put my guy in motion. I usually do a lot of hot routes. Jordy Nelson with his great uh, route running will always be open once the person switched to a zone. He was in cover two last time. You seen that with the blue flats. You just got to know your opponent's tendencies. Jordy Nelson has about 90 route running. He's just as good in the game. I had like two people open on that. But because I was dinking and dunking so much, I went for the deeper pass because I knew he was in man coverage. Also, when you pick your play, until they fix the online pre-play thing, pick the original play that you want in your head. As soon as you break out of the huddle, automatically... Flip your play to the opposite side and then make your reads from there. That is how you always do it. That'll throw the glitch off and it'll help you out better. Because people can tell if you're going to run, if you're going to pass. As soon as you come out of the huddle, always switch your play around until the play that you really want. Pick your play that you want. That's going to be the play art that they show. If you come out in the run, the run is going to be play art that they show. They ain't going to see no names over the top of your head. If you pick a pass and you want to switch to the run, they're going to see the pass. But if you come out in the pass, do not make your audibles and stuff until the person shows who his user is. Because if you're in the pass, they're going to start alternating defenders to give yourself more coverage in the secondary. If you come out and run, they're going to bring more people into the box, but they're not going to do it instantly. Now, because they know that a lot of people across the internet know about the glitch, know about the play already. So, them are just some tips for you to become better at Madden. Pick up the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Play around, not in the close formations, but get you at least 83 overall golds with great route running. Look for route running. You don't really need speed over the top. That'll come if the person is aggressive and he's sending a lot of blitzes. You need to get you a good receiving back and some great route runnings you will be able to tear your opponent up man that's all your boy got for you right now 
If you enjoyed these tips, these type of videos, let me know in the comment section. I should have some live camera, walk you through a whole gameplay, give you more in-depth uh, changes and audibles that I make in order to shut my opponent out later on. But I need about 15, 20 likes on this video. Until next time, your boy about to sign out. It's all love. Let's get it. Picked off, it's the Pro Bowl corner, Joe Hayden with it. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They come into enemy territory, and I don't care what the matchup is in the National Football League, you're up like this, late in the game on the road. This feels pretty good. Oh, it feels fantastic. Jordy Nelson, all by himself. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this. But run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. First and goal, defense with their backs against the wall. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. Go out a lap or whatever it is, this was not a game. And I believe that you saw this coming early, identified it right in the beginning of the game, and it played out that way. Well, and it did, and for this team, just a lot of confidence coming away from this one. Confidence for them, for the other team, though, boy, what a dismal, dismal day.